is actually the pellet. Welcome back to Fishing for Anything Outdoors. Today I am up here by my Uncle Sam. He's right there, he's in a wheelchair, and he lives in the woods. They've got a lot of big trees. Such a beautiful place uh, with all the trees around the house. Um, a couple months ago, this summer sometime, um, a big storm came through here and it blew down a lot of trees. It narrowly missed the house. There's still some branches there. We're still cleaning up, but yeah, it, uh, it made a mess. So they got this uh, bird feeder right there and uh, they have a big problem of squirrels coming up, eating all the food, uh, sparrows, starlings, just all these pests. Uh, I don't, I wouldn't call squirrels pests that much, but they are when they come up to the uh, feeders like that, they, they do become pests. So I'm going to be shooting a few squirrels. Uh, hopefully I can shoot a few uh, sparrows. And then afterwards, we're going to cook the squirrels that I shoot. So stay tuned. You're going to love it. There is my, my uh, Uncle Sam's friend right there. Say hello. Say hello. What's going on? Huh? Want a beer? Yeah, sure. I'll take a beer. He offered me a beer. <laughs> Yeah, he's funny. All right, let's get to it. As I'm sitting here waiting for squirrels to show up, I uh, did a little bit of studying on black squirrels because they have a few around here. And they're actually the same species as a gray squirrel, but they have the same pigment genes as a fox squirrel. So when a fox squirrel and a gray squirrel breed, it actually produces black squirrels. And I found that really interesting, something that really fascinated me. So I just came out here and checked and I did hit that squirrel right in the heart. I just found it uh, right under here. Right here it is. So that's a pretty nice big squirrel. And uh, I am actually in this video, I'm going to be putting this squirrel in a crock pot and we're going to partake and eat it. And I just shot another one, and so I'm going to go get that one, and we're going to skin both of them, and quarter them, get them ready for the crock pot, and then we will be cooking up some squirrels. So, y'all stay tuned. I really love my pellet gun. It's a Benjamin Gunnar, and it, it is very effective. So I'm going to show you. I'm out here. Um, got the squirrels right there. I'm going to just skin them right here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show you guys the skinning part, but... I, uh, I I don't like cutting into the uh, into the hair. I like basically cutting around the the legs, the back legs. I cut around the back legs and the tail, and then I just skin them. Like I just pull the skin off, leaves no hair on the on the flesh on the meat. And uh, the reason a lot of people don't like skinning squirrels is because there's a lot of hair that end up being on the meat. You really can't wash it off. So if you just pull the skin right off, it won't leave any hair on the meat. So I always wondered um, how far does this pellet actually go through. And yes, you can see I did shoot that squirrel right there. And I the other one made a clean path through that squirrel there. It was a little bit smaller. But this one, um, if you look at the video, uh, I, did, I thought I shot a little bit high, but I didn't. I shot it right directly through the heart and lungs here. But I found, I found out, I, I figured that it would go out the other side. So I hit it there and I, you know, it was cording away. So as I was feeling its belly here, um, I found the pellet. It's right under the skin here. It's actually the pellet. And this is a uh, Hades. 
and it didn't do as much much damage as I figured as it would so this is the pellet that came out of there and it's not mushroomed or anything it's flattened maybe a little bit but it is not too bad um, I could literally use this pellet again and shoot another squirrel so yeah that's pretty cool well, we're gonna throw it in the crock pot and this way we can enjoy the meat uh, my uncle he's in a wheelchair he hasn't been able to walk since he was 12 years old so it's always a great time to come up here and hang out with him uh, he'd be out here helping me skin these but it's a little bit chilly tonight and but he'll be out here tomorrow and I have his price for him tomorrow uh, I'm gonna take him to a local gun shop here and we're going I'm gonna buy him a crossbow because deer they actually come out right up here there's a little uh, pile right there uh, corn pile and they actually come up here um, and it's about 40 yards from the house and so I'm gonna buy him a crossbow so he can sit out there on the porch in the evenings and if he feels like it he can shoot a deer and I'll gladly come up here help him drag it up there and and uh, you know skin it out and help him work it away uh, in his freezer um, we are very much uh, you know we like our family uh, my uncle and me and we very much like the idea of uh, self-sustained lifestyle uh, eating what you shoot and not shooting if you're if you don't plan on eating it we got fox around here just today i seen the fox run, run across that big field up there and and he wants me to shoot them because they have no bunnies no rabbits here in the yard and they would love to have some bunnies you know once in a while maybe shoot one and eat it i'm very passionate about the outdoors and i just wanted to share that a little bit with you but yeah we're going to surprise uncle sam tomorrow with a new crossbow we got these squirrels here we're going to eat those squirrels tomorrow um, we're going to have them soaking in water overnight uh, it takes a little bit some of that gamey taste out which i don't mind it too much but sometimes it is a little bit strong for sure in the fall when they have a lot of fat on them so in the morning they'll go in the crock pot um with uh, carrots and potatoes and all kinds of seasonings and until it's nice and soft uh, we cook it pretty much all day so and then we're gonna have a feast tomorrow night and you guys stay tuned we're gonna have a lot of fun Check it out. Mmm, that smells good. He was uh, hungry for some squirrel, so I said, well, I'll come up here and shoot a few. So I started this cook at high at 10.15 this morning, and at around a um, little before 2, about 1.30, I added all the vegetables, and it's been cooking now for about an hour. And so I, I just, I'm going to put it on low. And we'll let it uh, simmer for another half hour to an hour. And then this will be ready to serve. And this is how I love to do my squirrels. Just a good old-fashioned crock pot stew. actually got him a crossbow. And we already shot it. And I'm gonna shoot a deer, man. You bet. Do you like the crossbow? Absolutely. On this side of the blue tanks, there's some deer that come up there uh, in the evenings. And so... We're hoping Sam can shoot one. From the back porch. And then I'll come uh I'll come take care of it for him then. So this is the crossbow that I got him. It's the reason I got him this, it's a barnet. It uh it's very light, perfect for Sam. He is not able to hold uh too much weight. He's paralyzed from the chest down, but this XP three seventy, perfect for him to just sit out here on the porch and uh shoot some deer.
so it's kind of like um, very good, very soft. It's very hard to get them tender on the grill because you have to grill them so long and then they kind of want to dry out. I haven't really figured out a good way to grill squirrel. They're good, but this is very good. Um, if you kind of imagine if a chicken would, uh, you know, grow up in the wild, eat kind of what a squirrel does, this is kind of what it tastes like. Kind of like a it's chicken, but wild chicken. So very delicious, very soft. And the broth, mmm, nothing better. Nothing better. Nothing better. Yeah, man, you hear my uncle in the background. He's just chomping away. Mmm, very good. Yep, I'm definitely doing this again. And that is how I make my squirrel in the crock pot. Nice. So, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I look forward to making some more videos. And I hope you look forward to me making more videos. <laughs> make sure you get some. Make sure you try this. It's good. Next time you shoot a squirrel, throw it in the crock pot with some um, carrots, potatoes, some seasonings of your choice and cook it for you know four or five hours some onions just puts a perfect flavor in the meat and in the vegetables and in the broth just everything about it is very good very filling um all natural from the land ciao so we're packed up ready to go um and we had a lot of fun a lot of fun we had some i did not get to shoot any sparrows or starlings they it warmed up and they just kind of went out in the fields the snow melted so no uh, starlings or sparrows in this video but I did I was successful in killing two squirrels and we cooked them in the crock pot it was very delicious so we're just about ready to head for home and I appreciate you guys thank you for watching and I will see you in another video thank you bye